Hello everybody, it's your boy here, and with a little bit of introduction from Astro himself, we have the next blog post. This is considered my 13th video overall of 2023, and this is regarding the, well, pretty much Need for Speed Unbound Volume 3 update. As of me recording this, the, the, that update has gone live, and I'm already basically, you know, grinding my way to get my hands on the brand new set of wheels that has entered Lakeshore City, the Lion DMC-12. I am surprised that this classic vehicle from Back to the Future has finally made its way into Need for Speed because the first time, well, mostly on the console, it actually made a debut on, on Need for Speed the Limit some time ago, but now it's making its way into the consoles and PCs, man. I mean, this caught me off guard that after the Maybach in March of this year, I did not expect them to throw in a classic ride because... Well, first we got something that was more, that's like recent, and we got something that's representing the 80s, mostly to those who watched the Back to the Future trilogy. But yeah, I am very surprised to do it. But the way to get the car? Well, this will require me to, um, quote, spend some time online with other drivers to do these things called link-up challenges. Okay, first of all, the fact of the matter is that I don't, they, they were pretty vague on the whole how to do that, because I know it's like, a, like an online thing, but what do you do to get it offline? Because when I got the Maybach, it was with the new activities they added to the game called Hot Labs. But this one, this one played differently, and it felt as though is that you are required if you want to get this ride into your game, you need to be online in order to get it. So. It's a unique complete 12 link ups that includes these stunt challenges. Basically, it's takeovers put in free roam with other drivers. Depending on how many drivers you complete all 12 of them, the DeLorean is yours. And the fact that I even saw the modern variation in the trailer, meaning, oh man, this car is going to be modern. It's going to be a lot of DeLorean drivers on the road this time around. So, yeah, this is the second um, new addition to the Deep Speed Unbound car roster. And boy, I'm got some plans for that car, man, because I didn't expect. <laughs> A uh, criterion to pull in a, um, an 80s classic to join the roster. But, given that I've already done the Maybach and gameplay uh, on the gaming channel, and you know, the gaming channel is coming on IS as I'll be recording this, I will have to settle it to make it a blog post video, like maybe sometime later on. I don't know. I'll have to look into it, whatever, if I'm free, since you know. Uh, July 2023 is you know, Independence Month, so I don't know if I can be able to fit in a gameplay video. But if I somehow get the DeLorean um, ahead of schedule, I will definitely work on the blog post video. Might be less um, commentary on it because it's showcasing my, pretty much going to be my custom build, not like you know racing wise custom build. Maybe I'll probably do a gameplay of the DeLorean um, afterwards. But that all depends if I can get my hands on the car and if the internet connection doesn't suck. But yeah, man, I am waiting for this DeLorean. Another thing to point in mind is that this was not the only thing that came with the up three. We got three cosmetic packs, the Robodex pack, the Fort Mustang Legendary Customs pack, and three custom build car packs. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to hold off on those three until much time later like really later because once again they are just for cosmetic reasons but what's bad for me is the price tags and I am not a fan first of all $15 for the Wilbur Jacks pack are you seriously you got the cut let legendary customs rx7 and yet you're gonna throw in all this junk new poses new clothes and everything for $15 why? Why $50? That's just baffles me. The Ford Mustang UG would also suffer the same fate, but the fact is this ties into the whole speed pass thing, meaning that to get, um, you know, they decided to um, change the progression, um, the ranking system in the game. They changed it, so if you get to rank 50 with this new um, system, you get a legendary custom Dodge Viper SRT. Yeah. You get that. But there's also other stuff too. But I... Really not to count. I just want. I just want to race. That's pretty much what I wanted to do. But yeah, without further ado, I want to thank y'all tuning in for this blog spot. I know that pretty much my autologs has finally been completed, but I got some metal style basically taking spot currently because you know things change, and I have to basically get to other means to you know keep this channel running. And I'm hoping 
that I would continue to provide these blog posts as time passes. But without further ado, this is your boy SC Grant, and I will see you all in the next video. Take care now.